Good morning everybody and welcome back to another studio vlog. This is my third attempt at starting a studio vlog. It's been a long time since I did a studio vlog and I basically started filming, I want to say, beginning of August and then unfortunately we lost our chocolate Labrador Barney. So if you've been here a while, you might may have seen him on some of my vlogs. He was an old boy, bless him, but it was really, really hard for us. Unfortunately, it wasn't a nice, peaceful end to his life. Um, it was pretty traumatic for him and it was pretty traumatic for us. So we've been in a bit of a funk um, and I had to basically stop filming. So. Um, yes, I am very sorry that it's been so long, but it, it was just a really hard time uh, to deal with, basically. So, I filmed some footage from when our Kickstarter washi tapes finally arrived, um, which I will show you now. That's the washi tape that came from the Kickstarter. Um, they've been and gone to the backers. Um, I then filmed some footage last week of three new washi tape designs which came in. And then unfortunately, I just had a really rubbish week and had to stop filming. Unfortunately, I dealt with things like migraines, insomnia, and hormonal issues. So uh, yeah, um, here's some footage of the three new washi tapes that I filmed the unboxing. <laughs> Okay, so this top one is the restock of my autumn one. And then I've got this little gold foiled kind of autumn leaves. Um, and then this little kind of boho, bohemian moon phase. And they're all um, foiled with gold foil. What do you think? Okay, so those are the new autumnal washi tape. I also got some stickers that have come in but haven't filmed yet, so I will show you those. Um, it's just been a really strange time. It's just been really hard to deal with, so like I said, I am very, very sorry that I haven't been around making studio vlogs for you. One of the things that, that I have done, which I'm not sure whether I mentioned to you on our last vlog or not, but um, I put my patreon on hold went on a bit of a hiatus and it's been i think three months and i'm finally i think at a place where i know what i want to do to relaunch it so i do need to work on that this week um because you know we are running out of time in september so if i want to launch it for october i need to get a wig along if I didn't mention it to you before, the reason that I put Patreon on hold is I've been running my Patreon since early 2019. Um, we're now in 2021 and I've never taken a break, not even a month, I don't think. Um, I'd never had a break from it. And some people's Patreon accounts really grew as soon as they launched it and mine unfortunately didn't. Um, maybe I launched it too early, maybe my rewards weren't right, 
I'm not entirely sure, but it became a bit of a burden, um, I guess both physically and mentally. I had a lot of rewards and not a whole lot of patrons. And obviously I'm extremely grateful to every single patron, past and present, that have, you know, supported me on there. And it is an amazing platform to use, but with that many rewards and not too many patrons or patrons, it meant that basically I was doing a lot of work for not a lot of money and it, I kind of worked out like an hourly rate and basically the amount of hours I was spending on it I was probably being paid about £2 an hour which is not an effective use of my time it's just not um, and it meant that I wasn't updating my shop I wasn't kind of working on things behind the scenes for Lula Rocks as a business as much because I had so much time that I needed to put into Patreon. Um, I was struggling to come up with new ideas for products because all of my new ideas, again, went to rewards for patrons. So I really needed to just take a step away from it and think it all over. And my plan was only to take like one, two months max away from Patreon, but with Barney going, um, it's just been really difficult to get my head back in the game. But I, like I said, I, I've, I have finally managed to put some thought into it. And I think I'm kind of there. So I'm probably gonna have like three tiers, um, kind of a support tier, which is just basic, few rewards, um, like a digital one where you get your wallpapers and things like that. And then there'll be kind of a goodies tier. Now, rather than doing a full on goodie box like I usually do, I have decided, well, I'm thinking of doing, rather than brand new exclusive items that you can only get through Patreon, more like an early access kind of reward. So basically, if I get new enamel pins in and you're in that kind of um, physical reward tier, you would get, oh, the cat's meowing outside the door, sorry. Um, you would get those items or up to a certain value so probably only one pin delivered before they go in my shop. Washi tape, you know, is a is a bit cheaper. So you might get like three washi tapes if I've got a delivery coming in of washi tapes. I thought that would relieve the pressure of trying to come up with new ideas every single month. And the thing is that, oh, the thing that I've been stuck on with it is that sometimes I don't have new products coming into my shop, you know? Like January is a very quiet time. Um, and there are other months where I don't, I haven't designed anything, I haven't created anything new to go in my shop to sell. So what do I do in those times if I've got nothing to sell? So then I thought I could do a gift card for the same value on the months that I don't create something. And that would mean that my patrons could either spend it there and then, they could save it up, because I don't think, I'll probably have it so that they never expire. So they could save it up every month and have a huge amount so that, you know, they can do all their Christmas shopping and things like that. And I think that might be a good kind of way to balance it. So I need to basically put all of my thoughts and notes into uh, practice. I guess I need to I need to set it all up. I need to communicate this out to my patrons because so far I haven't really said anything about my thoughts. I am reducing the amount of rewards in each tier a lot and it does concern me in that I'm worried that people might think it's too expensive for how many rewards I have because like I said, I had a lot of rewards before, but maybe the prices of the tiers didn't reflect that. They, they were quite low, I think, for what you got and how much time I, I put into it. But unfortunately I need to do it because it just wasn't sustainable. It wasn't realistic and I wasn't making money really from it. So yeah, that's kind of a, something I need to put on Patreon and, and I may lose some Patreons due to that fact and people might not want to join if they think it's too expensive but I've got to do what's right for me and what's right for my mental health and if that means that I still only have a small amount of patrons and it doesn't grow then that's what I need to do basically so oh, that was a lot of information for you sorry very very sorry Okay, this is Editing Lucy here, coming on to tell you that basically I spent a ridiculous amount of time talking about illustration and my style and whatever, and if I leave this footage in here at normal speed, we will be here for the rest of our lives. So I am going to try and keep it short and sweet. Basically, I have been working on my style and I did some illustrations over the weekend and I'm going to show you. 
please enjoy this time lapse. It's like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles Of yesterday Don't you want to go further Away from the fray Let's not get stuck in our worries We'll make our own way Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers Good morning I am going to do some orders today um, Thankfully orders have picked up quite a lot this month um, The summer was very quiet for a lot of uh, creative and small businesses And um, it was a bit difficult and a bit scary for a little while to be honest So yes, my orders are picking up quite a lot um, thankfully as we head towards the festive season so uh, before I do that and some other admin -y type things I thought I'd show you the new stickers I got now these were gifted to me by sticker app um, I use sticker app anyway for my big holographic stickers um, and yeah uh, they gifted me a bunch of stickers so that um, I can basically share them with you. So I know this is gonna be a nightmare showing you like this, but we'll try. So the first design is Moonchild. You can see there it's holographic. So that's cute. That's based off of my uh, Moonchild pin. And then I've got this little witch's hat. So these ones I've gone for less holographic details. I don't know if you can see it, but the little stars are holographic. Um, I normally have quite a lot of the sticker set up to be holographic, like on the moon child, the big moon and all the writing was holographic, but I really wanted to go for something quite subtle this time round. And then we've got this little kitty cat. So these are all like witchy stickers. So again, it's the little stars and the moon on his head, which are holographic. Oh, it's really difficult to show you, it always is. But if you want to see them properly, I do have proper photos on my Instagram. Um, and there's a reel on Instagram which shows them quite well and shows you how to order them as well. I don't know like how long you have to mark something as gifted. Like on Instagram, I know there's like certain laws and rules so I feel like every time I post something about them they'll have to say they're gifted I don't know <laughs> I don't know really how I don't really know how it works probably look into that so yes um this one which I love which is like oh so it's a little crystal ball with some hands so the moon and the stars inside it are all holographic this one is a glitter sticker now this is really hard to capture even in the photos it always looks darker than it is actually like a really light pastel peach glitter colour but on the web on my website on the listing that I've put up there it just looks like it's like quite dark red and it does again here it's all to do with the light it's a really like it's more like that colour when you see it but when I take all the photos it's like that because it's reflecting everything off it but it's more like that it's a really pale pastel sparkly toadstools that's the first glitter design I've ever done. I don't know that it necessarily works well with this mushroom, uh, with this toadstool design. I think it's quite busy, the glitter. I mean, it's all a learning pro process, isn't it? You know, when you've never done something, you don't know how it's gonna turn out. So, what is going on with my focus? Anyway, these two are gonna be difficult to show you because they are transparent vinyl, but I'll show you them stuck down in a minute. So this one's a little tea cup, little moon tea. And then this one's also transparent. So it's much better once the backing is off. This one's like a little um, smudge stick, little herb bundle. So I've got them stuck in this book. I'll see what I can do to make this show up when I edit it. But anyway, these are the two little stickers that are transparent. Um, I probably shouldn't have stuck them to a white background. Um, to show you but I do ha I don't want to peel them again because then I just have stickers that I have to put down and I've already done that a million times I also have them on my iPad case which is a bit grubby but it might make it a bit easier to show you 
So there's the little moon tea and then there's the little smudge stick. It's not grubby, it's just marked. Anyway, I digress. Is that the right, is that even the right saying? I digress. Does that mean you're going off course? Because I always go off course. Off piece? I like, I, get, I digress. It sounds better. Should I Google that? Yes! Anyway, I digress. That is the right phrase. Also today is the autumn equinox, which means it's officially the first day of autumn. Hence why I am wearing my comfy warm cardigan although it's not even cold outside it's quite misty but it's sunny um and it's not cold anyway again i digress so i showed you the illustration that i did the other day i'm really really pleased with how many people liked it on social media as well it's nice because my illustrations on social media don't normally uh, perform very well um i think people are just there for pins mainly um so oh Toru, you're falling over yeah they don't normally do very well i was pleasantly surprised by how well it was received and then yesterday i also did another illustration in the same kind of style since taking a break off patreon i haven't done a lot of illustrating which is just mad because i used to do them all the time and so I feel like this is a bit of practice to get me back into the flow of drawing because Inktober is coming up and I don't even know if I'm doing Inktober or what. Anyway, so this one took me three hours. It's going to do that annoying thing though, isn't it? Where I turn the brightness down and then it's just going to whack it back up. Right, I tell you what, we're going to be quick. It's not in focus and all you can see is the houses outside. But here's Kiki and Gigi. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you another way. Um... Yeah, pretty chuffed for how that one came out. I think she looked really cute and Gigi's so cute. Anyway, I'm rambling. I digress. I can't even remember what I've spoken to you about on this vlog. It's so hard. It is so hard. I guess because I am such a rambler, I'm like, did I tell them about Patreon? Did I tell you that I've been working on my illustrations already? Who knows? It's a mystery. Anyway, I'm going to stop chatting, get on with some admin, and, uh, and then we'll go do some orders.
Good morning. I can't help but say it like that. Good morning. I am thinking of re-upholstering this chair because it's purple and I don't like it. And the original plan was to buy a new chair. Um, they do and uh, quite a nice one in Argos. It's I think like pink and white. But why get rid of something that's fully functional and pretty comfortable? It's just, I don't like colour. So I'm thinking of buying some material and some spray paint as well. And then I can spray paint the black bits, maybe white, and get like a nice material, I don't know, for this. What do you think? And if I do it, should I include it in a vlog? and show you because it could be a bit of a nightmare and I have no idea how to do it or what I'm doing so maybe it might be like an interesting little project that some of you might find useful helpful fun I don't know I don't know let me know should I do that it's official I am going to launch my patreon on the 1st of October <gasps> I've said it can't go back now can't go back there's no going back I've said it that's what I'm going to do. So, there's a few things I need to get in place. I've already communicated it to my patrons about kind of what new tiers there's going to be, what new rewards there's going to be, the prices, etc. So I just need to go back to them and confirm that it is going to relaunch on the 1st so that they are prepared to have payments taken out of their accounts. Um, and also, there's a tier that is being discontinued, so I need any patrons on that to move over to the new tier or if they'd rather leave then obviously they can leave um so yeah so i need to do that communicate it all out officially and i want to get ahead and plan what i'm going to do for the month so the amount of rewards has reduced drastically so yeah i'm not sure how i'm going to fit it all in in what way I don't know, I know this isn't really making much sense to you, I'm just babbling. But anyway, <laughs> when you see that, I want to prepare the calendar, I want to get like the discount codes ready, I want to prep as much as I can ahead of time so that I'm already ahead because I was always working very much to, oh, this reward has to be done today or, oh, it needs to be done tomorrow. And it really did help once I had a schedule. Um, it helped me make sure the rewards were done rather than getting to the rewards at the end of the month and be like, oh crap, I've got loads that I haven't done yet. Um, it definitely helped spread it out throughout the month, but I still kind of always left it quite last minute with most of the rewards. So I think if I get ahead and start creating stuff now for October, then I'll be creating stuff in October for November, etc., etc. And I also really need to film a new video. So I used to have one that was super, super awkward because um, it was like kind of early in my vlogging days and it, I was like a little awkward robot. I was like, hi, my name's Lucy. This is my Patreon. I'd really love it if you could join. So yeah, we don't want that. Um, I took that off my page a long time ago. Although I think it's still on YouTube somewhere. Please don't go and watch it. <laughs> Maybe I should remove it. Um, no, you can watch it if it's on there. Have a laugh. Laugh away. Um, I need to I need to film a new one basically to welcome new people who might come and visit the page and um, want to know more about why I'm doing it or want to know more about me in case there are people that don't already follow me on social media or here on YouTube because obviously you guys know me you see my face I'm a little bit weird I forget my words all the time I ramble you know, I don't necessarily make an effort with my appearance. I just chuck my hair up and chuck some clothes on and good to go. So you guys know me, but new people coming across me on Patreon might not know me. So yeah, I think it's really important to have a little video, really. Oh, it's just a bit awkward though, like, what am I supposed to say? Come and join my Patreon. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get my weird little personality across. I just don't know. But, so that's, that's the plan for Patreon. Not necessarily all today. I mean, I'm not, oh, I'm getting too close to the ring light. It's like turning into a ghost. Like, should I put makeup on just to do a video, intro video for Patreon? Should I get a little bit dressed up? But then that's kind of like setting, what's the word? 
See, this is what I mean. I forget my words. I can't think of my words. <laughs> you know, it's giving like um, a false impression of what they're going to expect when I do my little chatting videos. If I'm, if I'm there on this intro video and I've got my makeup on and my hair's done nice and I'm wearing nice clothes and actually got a bra on, um, and I'm all prim and proper, like, hi. And then and then the first chatty video, I'll come on in my dressing gown and my hair is up in a bun and it's all scruffy and I'm like, yo, what's up? They're gonna be like, this is not what I signed on for. So I think it needs to be natural, don't you? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so I'm gonna crack on with that. And I want to do some more illustrations um, because Inktober is coming up. Now, as usual, I can't remember whether I've already spoken to you about this because my memory is pretty poor, if I'm honest. Um, Inktober was coming up. Last year I did actual inks. Uh, I used India inks. And I think I made it to day 19, which is the furthest I've ever gone. Um, this year I don't think I'll be pushing as hard with it. Um, to do every day. I think I'm just going to join in on a casual basis. Although I said last year it was a casual basis, I was still trying to do it every day. <laughs> but this year I think I'll literally do like one a week. And I might do digital, I might do some gouache, some ink, some watercolour. might switch it up and just see how I feel. I might do full on illustrations with backgrounds and or I might just do little pieces. Lost my track of thought, train of thought. I lost where I was. Lost what I was saying. What a surprise. Anyway, something about Inktober. Inktober, cool. Let's try and do it. Let's make a pact. Me and you. High five. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this vlog right here and stop filming. Bye. Thank you so much for coming along. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more random videos every now and again of me babbling to the camera. Thank you so much for coming along and for being here and supporting me. And I really do appreciate you. And I will see you again for another video. Bye for now. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Way back when We didn't care what they said